Free yourself from unhealthy food and eating habits. I want to walk you through what mindful eating is with five easy tips to help you get started and share why it can help you in your health and happiness. Mindful eating is the practice of being fully attentive to our food, our feelings, our hunger, and our satiety. Basically being present in the moment and aware while we are eating. With busy lives and constant to-do lists, being present can be tough. As a dietitian, I hear this from so many of my clients. They say they feel stressed, and me too, and often feel disconnected in many ways, including to food. Finding the time to cook, much less enjoy a meal, can be trying. However, mindful eating and the principles behind this practice have helped my clients and can help you improve your diet, your mood, your digestion, and so much more. And here's what's just so great about it. Mindful eating is not restrictive or judgmental. It is an encouraging and positive practice, and it's been shown to lead to greater psychological well-being and greater body satisfaction. Mindful eating is a practice with simple steps that can lead to powerful outcomes. Join me to discover five mindful eating tips that can help you be more present and bring more joy back to your meals. Taking a deep breath helps to relieve stress and bring us to the present moment. Taking a deep breath before a meal is helpful to sort of recenter ourselves and remind ourselves that we're about to nourish our body. Let's all take a deep breath together right now. Ready? How do you feel? Let me know in the comments. I know I feel a little lighter and a little less stressed. It's kind of amazing what a deep breath can do. This also gives us a moment to check in with ourselves. How hungry am I? Am I thirsty? All those questions around food. Before your next meal, take that deep breath to help center yourself and bring awareness to your meal, your food, and appreciate the benefits of your meal. Whether it's nourishing yourself with a balanced breakfast to fuel your morning or savoring a bite of a snack to curb the hangries, take a deep breath, take that moment and appreciate your food and yourself. Okay, I have a question for you. How many meals a day do you think you eat in front of a screen? Not just talking about TV, but what about in front of your computer or your phone or tablet? I'm totally guilty of eating my lunch while working away on the computer. It's multitasking at its finest. But eating in front of a screen can lead to overeating or mindless eating. A study done by the University of Birmingham found that people who eat in front of the TV consume up to 25% more calories than those who eat at a table. And numerous studies have shown that families that eat together regularly have better communication, they tend to eat more fruits and vegetables, less sugary drinks, and have improved emotional well-being. To get started, pick just one meal a day to put the screen away. Instead of scrolling your socials at breakfast, put your phone in another room, otherwise you'll be tempted to grab it, and savor your oatmeal or those morning eggs. Allow your mind to relax and wander. Give yourself that time to be present in your meal and then get back to it. Another part of mindful eating is slowing down to enjoy your food. Some of us eat very fast. And maybe this is just stems from your childhood or maybe you have limited time to eat during your lunch break at work. I'll give you a personal example. After I had my twins for the first six months, my mealtime was crazy. It felt like if I wasn't feeding a baby, I was changing a diaper or doing laundry or all the things that consume your life with two newborns. My husband and I still had our dinners at the table, no screens, but we had two little guys interjecting when they needed something, which was all the time. So I started eating much faster. It wasn't until they were about six months old that I realized I was inhaling my food. This was mainly because I had limited time to eat and I wanted to eat without being interrupted and I hate letting my food get cold. Once I noticed this, I had to be really intentional about slowing down. And you might find this too. Fighting the urge to eat fast starts with noticing the behavior, then recognizing the reasoning behind it, and then being intentional about changing it. 
Slowing down helps with digestion, allows you to actually taste and savor your food, and gives your body time to signal to your brain that you're satisfied and not overstuffed. There's a saying that we eat with our eyes first, and it's pretty accurate. Our senses are tied to our choices and our enjoyment of our food. If we have a colorful plate with lots of different fruits and vegetables, it's naturally pleasing to our eyes and encourages us to eat it. At your next meal, also notice the smells. Smells are deeply rooted in memories and can almost transform you back in time. Maybe it's the smell of your mom's chocolate chip cookies baking in the oven. The smell of food cooking on the grill can transport you back to summertime. What other food smells trigger memories for you? Drop me a comment below. I would love to hear what your food smell memories are. Along with sight and smell, texture is so important with food. Is it creamy, crunchy? And let's not forget the big one, taste. Savory, sweet, salty, spicy? Taking the time to actually notice what is on your plate and how the food hits your senses brings awareness back to your food and along with that can bring more satisfaction to your meal. Listening to our own body's cues related to hunger and satisfaction really flips the script on diet culture. Diet culture has told us to restrict our eating, ignore hunger cues, and a whole long list of other harmful food habits. So let's tune into our body's cues to actually nourish our body. And here are a few things to think about during your next meal. How hungry were you at the start of your meal? Halfway through, check in again. How are you feeling? Satisfied? Craving more? Totally full? There are so many food-related habits that can be addressed here. Maybe you grew up as part of the clean your plate club, as my husband puts it, or maybe you're so used to going back for seconds, you never realized that you could possibly be satisfied after the first serving. Give yourself those moments to check in and evaluate your hunger, your fullness, and feelings, allowing and honoring them. Give yourself permission to continue eating or stop eating based on your awareness of your cues. And yes, even if you still have things on your plate, you're allowed to stop eating. That's why we have Tupperware. Thanks for following along. I hope this video inspired you to get mindful at your next meal. Remember that by bringing awareness to our meals, we can foster a healthier relationship with food and nourish our bodies and minds in a more balanced way. If you found these mindful eating tips helpful, hit the like button now and make sure you're subscribed because I will be sharing more nutrition tip videos, videos on foods for health and nourishing recipes. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, eat well, be well, thrive.